Welcome to a Now Explain Rough Cut video. This video is part of our manual bookkeeping series. You can find related videos on our YouTube channel or search the internet for a Now Explain Rough Cut. So now, let's get explaining. Purchase Invoice Daybook with Detailed Analysis. What it is and why we need this daybook. Manual bookkeeping, pen and paper bookkeeping, we're going to be using day books, the books of original entry, also known as first entry or prime entry day books. We're collecting information from the source documents. What is a day book? A day book is a list of your transactions, invoices, payments, written down in sequence in a book. In days of old, this was done daily. Each day sales were written into a book. So we get the term day book. Related day books. The purchase credit notes day book. The bank payments day book. Similar and related terms used, suppliers, creditors, accounts payable, vendor, they're interchangeable, payments, money out, electronic funds, transfer, EFT, checks, other terms you'll hear used. A day book imagined by you. What a modern day book looks like. Big red book. Often these modern day books are referred to as big red books. Why big red book? Because some of these red books can be very big. Why are they big? Depending on how many columns you need. More columns, bigger book. Maybe this big. This book has 30 analysis columns. The columns will be very, very narrow. Inside a purchase invoice day book. Example of a purchase invoice daybook with expenditure analysis columns. Example one, a cost of sales invoice. Let us see how this purchase invoice is recorded in our purchase daybook. Here is where our purchase invoice details are recorded. Here is the purchase invoice with the daybook entry side by side. You can see the information taken from the purchase invoice. The supplier name, the date of the invoice, the total value of the invoice, the cost of sales being, in this case, red blocks being analyzed. Example two, an expenditure invoice. Let us see how this purchase invoice is recorded in our purchase daybook. Here is where our purchase invoice details are recorded. Here is the purchase invoice with the daybook entry side by side. You can see the information taken from the purchase invoice. The supplier name, the date, the total value of the invoice, the telephone repairs analyzed in their analysis column, and here's where our VAT is analyzed. Explanation of the purchase daybook columns. The date. The date of the purchase invoice. The supplier. The name of the supplier who the items or service were purchased from. Reference number. The index number, the internal number, given to the invoices so it can be tracked. Yes, all these items should be on a purchase invoice. Explanation of the purchase day by columns, the next three columns, the total VAT and the net at 20%. Total, the total value of an invoice that the supplier is charging you, including VAT. VAT, the amount of VAT contained in the total value of the purchase invoice. Net, the value of the items before any VAT is charged. Yes, this information should be on a purchase invoice. Totaling the columns. Each column that contains values must be totaled. By totaling each column, this allows us to see what the total purchase are for the day, week, month. In this example, we are seeing the monthly purchase figure. This purchase day book lists the 10 purchase invoices for the month of January. Why can't we just have a total column? Because the total of the VAT column will be used in the calculation of your VAT return. 
the total of the net column is your purchases, how much you bought for the month of January. VAT and net are needed for you and your business. The purchase invoice daybook allows us to analyze what we bought. Analysis columns. We added more columns to allow us to analyze what we purchased, bought. In this example, cost of sales, items that we will resell, excluding VAT. Expenses, overheads to run the business, excluding VAT, electricity, telephone, advertising, cleaning. We need to cross check the recorded values. The analysis column values are all recorded, excluding VAT. They are the analysis of the net amount of a purchase invoice. The total of all the analysis columns must equal the net of 20% column. So the cross check formula must be true. That is cost of sales plus electricity plus telephone plus stationery plus advertising plus cleaning must equal the net of 20% value. The total value column is made up of the net value, the amount excluding VAT, plus the VAT amount calculated on the purchase invoice. The cross-check formula must be true. VAT plus net at 20% equals total. If the cross-check formula does not agree in either case, then there is an error in the values recorded and that error must be found. Analyzing multiple VAT rates. It is possible that you buy items at different VAT rates. If the VAT rates of 20%, 10% and 0% were our VAT rates, how do we analyze the VAT? Similar to analyzing purchases, we can also analyze VAT. How? We add more analysis columns. In the example that follows, we have added a new expense, workwear, that has a VAT rate of 10%. We will add a new purchase analysis column, workwear, and a new net at 10% VAT analysis column. Here are net at and workwear analysis columns. You should have a net at column for each possible VAT rate. And that's how you set up a purchase invoice daybook and why the purchase invoice daybook is set up as shown using these columns. The date, the supplier. The reference number, the total purchase, the VAT on purchase and the net purchase and the expense analysis columns. More columns can be added to provide more VAT analysis and expense analysis. Thank you for watching.